Good morning to you. Yeah, we're right across the station from the Wallingford train station where we are expecting that meeting later on this morning. And here is one of the men that's going to be in attendance, Kevin Burns, who is the director for Operation Lifesaver here in Connecticut. Tell us a little bit about what is the main message you want to get people to people today? Operation Race Lifesaver is the National Rail Safety Education Program. So we give our, our message. So people don't realize about every three hours a person or a vehicle is struck by a train in, in the United States. So it does happen every day. Uh, you know, we, our, our messages are out there like really see track, think train, um, look, listen, live. And, uh, you know, we just get our message out there. You know, people don't realize how dangerous it is to walk on the train tracks, but a lot of people don't realize how uh, that it's illegal to walk on the train tracks. They think that I could just walk across the train tracks and that would be it. Right. And I'm safe. And we have two kinds of trains that come through here, right? Commuter trains and freight trains. They both have separate timing when it comes to when these levers come down, right? Correct. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So uh, when, when the lights start flashing, you have about 29 seconds to get uh, clear of the tracks because that's usually when a, 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 a train will show up at the, at the crossing. So once the gates start coming down six seconds after the lights flash, you'll see the uh, gates start coming down and then uh, the gates will be fully down and the train will show up no sooner than 29 seconds once the lights start flashing. And why is it so important for people never to ignore this, this sign right here? Uh, well, it, it, the train is definitely coming when, when, the, when, it, when that starts flashing and the gates come down. Um, a lot of times you'll see cars, they'll stop on the train tracks and uh, you know they'll be caught at a traffic light that's why you know there's signs up there that say do not stop on the tracks. Uh, you'll think all of a sudden you know there's no train coming and you're stopped on the train tracks. All of a sudden the train is coming, and you'll be stopped there and uh, you'll be caught on the train tracks. All right, Kevin, thank you. And one of the things we are learning this morning as well is that these trains do not have a lot of time to stop for you. It takes them about a mile to be able to come to a complete stop. So never ignore these signs. We're going to tell you more safety tips coming up in the morning show as well. For now, we are live in Wallingford. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.